Welcome to Kid Crafted Chronicles, the podcast where young imaginations take the spotlight. In this enchanting audio journey, the storytelling power is in the hands of our creative listeners. Kids like you send us their fantastic story ideas, and we turn them into thrilling episodes. Fasten your seatbelts because the adventures are about to begin. Today's story is a magical adventure inspired by Kevin, a brilliant thinker and a dreamer who is just 38 years young and hails from the beautiful city of Kelowna in British Columbia. Just like Kevin, who loves to imagine and create, our story is about a little boy named Maxwell. Maxwell has a special talent, a talent so unique that it transforms the world around him into something truly extraordinary. In the cozy village of Tinseltown, where the snowflakes dance like little stars and the winter air is filled with laughter, Maxwell discovers that with just a roll of a snowball, he can create wonders. But what happens when the warm sun decides to visit? Will Maxwell's creations last, or will they disappear like a dream on a summer's day? Join me as we embark on a journey through snow-capped adventures where friendships are as strong as the winter's frost and the magic of imagination never melts away. Get ready to be whisked away to Maxwell's winter wonderland a place where every snowflake tells a story and every story is a snowy adventure waiting to unfold. So, snuggle up, get cozy, and let's dive into the world of Maxwell and his enchanting winter creations. Maxwell's Winter Wonderland Once upon a time, In the cozy village of Tinseltown, nestled between whispering forests and gentle hills, there lived a boy named Maxwell Mistletoe. Maxwell was not your ordinary seven-year-old. He had a secret talent. With just a pair of mittens, a warm scarf, and a puff of frosty breath, he could turn a simple snowflake into something extraordinary. One chilly morning, as the village was wrapped in a thick blanket of snow, Maxwell stepped outside. He scooped up a handful of snow. With a twinkle of his eye, he rolled it into a small, perfect snowball. Wow, Maxwell, that's amazing, exclaimed his mother, her voice warm like a mug of hot cocoa. Yes, quite spectacular indeed, agreed his father his eyes sparkling like the icicles hanging from the eaves. Encouraged by his parents' praise, Maxwell's imagination took flight. He began to roll the snowball, and it grew, and grew, until it wasn't just a snowball anymore. It was the base of a snowman. The snowman was not ordinary either. It wore a hat made from the night sky and buttons that shined like stars. The village gathered, their breath foggy in the air, marveling at Maxwell's creation. Wow, Maxwell, that's amazing, they all said in chorus. But Maxwell didn't stop there. With a determined glint in his eye, he started working on something even more grand. He sculpted walls, carved out windows, and soon an igloo stood proudly on the snowfield. Inside, children gathered, their laughter echoing like music in the frosty air. Wow, Maxwell, that's amazing, praised his friends, their words floating like snowflakes. Maxwell felt the warmth of friendship fill the igloo, making it even cozier than the softest blanket. The igloo became a magical place where stories unfolded and adventures were born. Tales of snow pirates and frost fairies danced in the air as the children shared their wildest dreams and most imaginative tales. But the igloo was just beginning. 
Inspired by the stories in the twinkling stars, Maxwell's thoughts turned to castles and knights, dragons and quests. With his mittens as his tools and the snow as his canvas, he began to craft a castle. Grand and tall, its towers reached for the sky, and its gates welcomed all of Tinseltown's residents for imaginary feasts and joyous dances. Wow, Maxwell, that's amazing, the townsfolk cheered, clapping like the rustling of winter leaves. The castle was not just a structure of snow. It was a monument to creativity and joy. It was here that the children of Tinseltown became knights and princesses, explorers and magicians, each playing their part in a snowy saga of their own making. But Maxwell, with dreams bigger than the winter sky, didn't stop there. He worked day and night, his hands never tiring, his breath turning into a misty rhythm. He built a snow city with houses, a market, and even a tiny train that seemed to chug along the track of silver ice. The entire village stood in awe. Wow, Maxwell, that's amazing, they exclaimed, their voices a symphony of admiration. But then... As Maxwell placed the final touch on his snow city, a change whispered through the air. The sun, once a distant and gentle observer, began to climb higher in the sky. Its warm rays, golden and bright, stretched out like fingers, reaching for Maxwell's magnificent creation. The snow, once sparkling and firm, began to glisten a bit too brightly and melt. At first, it was just a trickle, a small stream winding its way through the snow streets. But the trickle soon became a stream, and the stream grew into a river, and the walls of the snow houses softened, and the edges of the snow castle blurred, and the tracks of the snow train filled with shimmering water. Maxwell watched, his heart sinking like the setting sun, his breath once visible in the chilly air, was now just a part of the spring breeze. He felt a pang of loss, so deep it chilled him more than the winter wind ever had. His creations, his friends, his adventures, all were fading before his eyes. "'Maxwell, look!' cried a voice, pulling him from his thoughts. It was Lily, his best friend, pointing towards the snow castle." The highest tower, the one that had touched the clouds, was now a slender spire, delicate and fragile, moments away from collapsing. Together, they watched as the spire swayed. Then, with a soft sigh, it bowed to the warmth of the sun's rays and became a part of the gentle stream on the ground. The children of the village, who had been playing knights and princesses, gathered around Maxwell. Their eyes mirrored his, a mixture of wonder and a hint of sadness. "'Is it all over, Maxwell?' asked one of the younger children, his voice barely above a whisper. Maxwell looked at the faces around him, the faces of friends who had shared in the joy of his winter wonderland. He felt the warmth, not from the sun's rays, but from the glow of the memories they had created together. No, he said firmly, his voice gaining a strength. It's not over. Our snow city may be melting, but the adventures we had, the laughter we shared, and the magic we created, those will never melt away. As if in agreement, the sun seemed to soften its gaze, casting a gentle golden glow over the village. The melting snow sparkled like a thousand diamonds, reminding everyone that some beauty can only exist for a moment. And in that moment, it was perfect. Maxwell's eyes sparkled with a new determination. The melting snow wasn't the end. It was a reminder that every ending is just a new beginning. He turned to his friends, a smile spreading across his face. Next winter, he declared, We'll build again, and it will be even more amazing. The children cheered. 
their spirits lifted by Maxwell's words. The Snow City might have melted, but their friendship and the magic of their imaginations were just starting to bloom. In the heart of Tinseltown, amid the trickling streams of melted snow, the seeds of next winter's wonderland were already being sown. For in Maxwell's world, every snowflake held a story, and every story was a promise of adventure, friendship, and a touch of magic waiting for the first snowfall. And that, dear friends, is the tale of Maxwell Mistletoe, the boy who taught us that the true magic of winter lies not in the snow, but in the hearts of those who share it. The End Hello, adventurers! Just like Maxwell's Winter Wonderland, it's time for our stories to take a break. This is the end of Season 1 of Kid Crafted Chronicles. But don't you worry, more adventure is on the horizon. So thank you for tuning in to our first season. Your support means the world to us. Please consider liking, sharing, and rating our podcast to help us reach even more creative kids and spread the magic of our whimsical stories. Season 2 will premiere on May 1st, 2024. That's this year. My name is Ben Moody, and I invite you to stay tuned for more adventures. My name is Ben Moody, and I thank you for joining us on another magical journey through Kid Crafted Chronicles. If you've been inspired by the wonderful stories spun by our young storytellers and want to submit your own idea for a story, we'd love to hear from you. Follow us on social media or visit our website at kidcraftedchronicles.com to share your imaginative tales and join our creative community. Your story may be written and featured on a future episode. Together, we'll keep the storytelling wonder alive.